belongs to all people. He belongs to the whole world. His gospel is for everyone, whoever you are. He's one of the great evangelists of our nation's history. His crusades are legendary. The size of his crowds were magnificent throughout the years uh, because of uh, the message and because of the messenger. That's the beauty and the greatness and the thrill of God's love. The kind of person that a person in my position wants to know. Billy Graham is one of the world's most influential Christian leaders and evangelists in history leaving a legacy of love and acceptance for millions of people to follow. From his beginnings as a traveling minister, preaching in tents at crusades, to meeting and advising world leaders across the globe, Billy Graham's ministry has lasted for 68 years. Billy was born on November 7, 1918 in Charlotte, North Carolina. He grew up during the hard times of the Great Depression on a dairy farm. Billy was the oldest of four children, which came with a lot of responsibility. His day started before the sun came up, and after a few hours of milking cows or helping his dad do other farm chores, he would attend school. After school, he would go back home and continue his farm work. This childhood gave an amazing work ethic to the young Billy Graham. Raised in a Christian home, Billy Graham was baptized at the age of 15. He attended many tent revivals and was inspired to become a preacher. Billy Graham says he felt a calling from God to do what it says in Mark 16:15, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. I just felt God was speaking to me and he said, I want to use you. And I said, Lord, I'll go where you want me to go, and I'll be what you want me to be. I'm yours. Billy Graham became nationally known in 1949 after an eight-week crusade in Los Angeles, California. This was where Louis Zamperini, whose life was made famous in the recent movie Unbroken, recommitted his life to Christ. For some unknown reason, even to Billy himself, William Randolph Hearst covered the Los Angeles Crusade in all of his newspapers. People from coast to coast now knew who Billy Graham was and wanted to hear him speak. In 1949, Billy Graham spread his ministry internationally by preaching in London, England, which at the time was considered the largest city in the world. His crusade began on March 1st and ended on May 22nd. When it was all said and done, more than 2 million people attended the crusade meetings and nearly 40,000 made a commitment to Christ. As Billy Graham described later, we knew that even among those who made no decision during the meetings, seeds had been planted that would bear fruit in God's timing. Media played a big role in Billy's success. His first radio show was on WCFL in Chicago in 1943. Due to the success of this broadcast, Billy opened numerous international offices and started publishing periodicals, records, tapes, films, and books. Billy Graham transmitted his shows to radio stations at the beginning of his career. Near the end, he was on 1,200 stations across America. Many people heard his preaching through these broadcasts. Billy Graham began a film production company with the goal of producing Christian-themed, family-friendly movies. Billy Graham's movies have been shown around the world since 1953. His crusades were also televised for three years, reaching millions of people around the globe. Billy Graham has preached to over 215 million people in live audiences in more than 185 countries and territories on six continents. He has reached hundreds of millions more people through radio, television, webcasts, and movies. 
Billy Graham has been a spiritual advisor to the last nine presidents. When some of the most powerful men in the world need advice and guidance, they turn to Billy Graham. The reason world leaders have sought his advice is precisely because he doesn't try to tell them what they should do tomorrow, but he does try to show them a way of thinking about the problem that adds a new dimension to their thinking. Billy Graham's legacy has impacted nations by shaping their destiny. Ronald Reagan once said, Reverend Billy Graham's untiring evangelism has spread the word of God to every corner of the globe and made him one of the most inspirational spiritual leaders of the 20th century. President Reagan awarded Billy Graham with the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian award. In my personal opinion, I think that uh, Dr. Billy Graham probably is the most influential Christian leader since the days of the Apostle Paul of the New Testament era. And I really think that uh, his great influence is not simply because of his great preaching ability, but uh, primarily because of his character. And it's amazing to me that after all of the years of him being in the public eye, there is nothing whatsoever that has ever stuck to his character as not being a man of integrity. So I think the legacy that he will leave is a man of God who had great integrity and character. Billy Graham once said, when we come to know Christ by committing our lives to Him, God comes into our lives and begins to change us from within. And when we are changed from within, we become concerned about the problems of our world and we want to do something about them. That is why I believe true religion has a legitimate place in modern society and why I believe Christ has a message for the people. Billy continued, In my experience in many countries, Christians, although often a minority, make good citizens and have a positive effect on their societies. Billy Graham is admired all over the world. Those who know him well regard him as humorous, non-judgmental, sincere, and accepting. Those words have power and strength, just like Billy Graham. A leader is someone who sets an example to follow. Legacy is something handed down from an earlier generation. Billy Graham's leadership and legacy should teach us all to follow his example of doing what you feel called by God to do. Billy Graham's untiring evangelism has spread the word of God to every corner of the globe and made him one of the most inspirational spiritual leaders of the 20th century. I think it's through him that I found myself praying even more than a daily basis to give me the wisdom to make decisions that would serve God and be pleasing to him. Billy Graham, the man, the preacher, the humble farmer's son who helped change the world is a spiritual gift to all of us. This unique person that comes across the pages of history. Who is this Jesus Christ? He's had many opportunities over the years to do other things that he turned down because God had called him to a higher calling, and that was to be an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ and to take the gospel to literally the ends of the earth.